Hi, betting experts. On Wednesday, October the 7th, first of all, look back at our two bets at Catterick. On Tuesday, we move on to Nottingham. On Wednesday, the ground on the softer side are good. Plenty of weather about this week, and it's going to be fairly testing, I would imagine. We start off with our value angle selection in the 1 o'clock. This is the play 3-2 win at Mansion Bet. Handicap over a mile, class 5, three-year-olds upwards, three and a half grand on offer to the winner. The one who I think has been catching my eye is Rue Delegate of Tom Clover. Now, this filly is pretty unexposed in handicaps. She's had form in France on soft ground and was a winner there uh, for her previous yard back in January 2020. Moved to Chriswell, had one run there in a handicap at Kempton off a mark of 76, finishing second at 50 to 1, presumably shopping the business unfancied that day, showing her ability and moved immediately to Tom Clover. She's run three times since, been quite easy to back on each occasion, catching the eye over a mile two at Windsor and beaten just over four lengths by Al Avoir. And then well backed at Haydock on firm ground, but was disappointing behind Lady Lynetta, perhaps finding the run coming too soon 13 days later. She's been given a month off back at Kempton. Jack Mitchell up, ran a blinder, finishing fifth behind What an Angel, dropped out, educational run again, catching the eye. So she's now fallen down to a mark of 73, having run so well for Chris Wall on one start off 76 at Kempton. She gets soft ground or easier ground anyway, which I think will definitely suit her. I'm hoping for a more positive ride. Jack Mitchell is booked again. He'll know a lot more about her. She's completely unexposed in handicaps and I suspect is an accident waiting to happen and well worth chancing in this weak looking race. For our nap of the day, we go to the opening 12 o'clock. This is the British Stallion Studs EBF Novice Stakes. Over six furlongs, class five, two-year-olds only. Chasing £4,000 in prize money to the winner. 12 runners have been attracted. Now, this does look a really good opportunity for Kevin Ryan's fighter pilot to improve on his debut effort when finishing third. And I thought that was a really taking effort. It came at Newcastle on the all-weather shaping a lot better than getting beaten eight lengths suggests up chasing the front running winner 5000 to 1 who is an Andrew Balding odds on favourite who is extremely useful and held in very high regard um, he made all the running went clear on the bridle two furlongs out and absolutely bolt up and if you look at his next run well he got beaten three quarters of a length in a group two at Newbury which gives you an idea of what chance our selection had on that occasion uh, he was up on the hammer throughout they driven two furlongs out and just fading to get beaten eight lengths the second black rod's quite useful and the front three were nearly five lengths clear of the fourth Numur. it's an extremely strong line of form i don't think softer turf will hold any terrors kodiak colt danny tudhope book um, has lots in his favor he already has proved that he stays six furlongs reasonably well and i suspect he's going to develop into a useful performer himself the main danger could come from trumbull of david lotnane who ran well when finishing fourth on his debut just 10 days ago but i was a bit Skeptical of the merits of that form, in truth, it was at Chester. He was sent off 25 to one, uh, and it was they all finished in a bit of a heap. I doubt it amounts to all that much. He's liable to improve for that first spin, but for me, fighter pilot has achieved a lot more and should improve for that run. Best of luck on Wednesday, betting experts.